So this is one of the most dangerous neighborhood in Puerto Rico, according to people on Facebook and according to people on the internet. Now, traveling is about respect, right? Like I always say, when you travel, you have to show respect. On the internet, people will tell you that don't come to La Perla because this is where they do drugs and, um, you know, it's just, there's a lot of drug dealers here, so don't come here or you'll get killed. That might be true, but that's the narrative everybody pushed the most. The other truth, which is actually the real truth, is they don't like people coming here because this is a respected neighborhood. They don't want people coming here filming them, privacy. So uh, you can come here, don't bring out your camera. Don't watch this video and think you can do the same thing because it might not end up well for you. But, you know, let's take a tour of La Perla. So, some of these houses look damaged. Uh, I kind of like the view here because the beach is right there. And you can see that some of these people that moved down during the hurricane. So one thing I've come to notice being here in Puerto Rico is uh, some places you can find parking because it's like I drove 25 minutes to find parking here. So uh, yeah, be careful. Uh, I park way in the back. So now we are getting to inside the neighborhood. It seems like people are stalling here due to parking issues. Um, yeah, parking. So. Uh, there's a restaurant here. There's a restaurant on the left. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, it's like people park their car here and they're having stuff going on. If they're in a rush, they can't wait. So you can, uh, you can you can come here and be disrespectful to people. So like uh, the tourists back there, the the cars they're uh, stuck and they're like, hey, move, move. This is the thing I try to explain to people, right? If you go to people country, people uh, place of uh, the livelihood, their neighborhood, you cannot come to those places with your attitude. You got to remember people have certain way they do things and you need to learn to adapt to your surrounding, adapt to the people around you, learn the culture and the respect that you have to show there. Sorry, I'm trying to get hit by car. So. There's some houses down there, but I'm not going to be going to people's houses and disrespecting them. With all the negativity you hear on Facebook, I personally think like, holy hell, look at that. Look at that view of the building. They go all the way up there. That's, uh, that's uh, very nice. Yeah, I try to... Be respectful to people you can go to it's just like somebody come to your house you don't want them to come to your house and disrespect you you want them uh, to show you respect and how you doing Como estás? So, so my biggest thing I want to see a basketball court here supposedly uh, there's a basketball court I saw on YouTube where the basketball player Carmelo Anthony built. It is really, really nice. To the video on YouTube, is really nice. We're walking on. Right now we're in the back street. I gotta find a way to go up in there. I don't know how to get there, but it reminds me of seeing uh, all these places in Brazil, like the favela. Yeah, okay. This looks like it used to be a nice garage. Let's get a shot of the... Woo! These people are gonna hit me if I'm not careful. 
Oh man, that is amazing. I really would like to take a walk down there sooner or later, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't know. Uh, have the time. I'm on a mission to find a basketball court. Get a shot of that. Okay, there's some tourists here taking picture. I'm a photo bomb. That's what I do. Huh? Screw it, take the picture. <laughs> Como no speak English? Okay, Spanish. ¿De dónde eres usted? Woo. Let's. Lo vemos. <laughs> sí. Le voy a cobrar cinco dólares cada gente. Que... ¿Cómo no money? Parece que tienes money. Okay, con quién? ¿Cuál celular? Okay. Okay, Puerto Rico. Okay, yo no sé si le gusta. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay. Have a good one. Huh? That's what I love about this channel. I can meet people and be silly. I love photo bombing people when they're taking photos and I just uh, it's kind of fun because you never know when somebody will post it on Facebook. Oh, see, and then there I am a couple of years later. Anyway, back to our tour. Why do I feel like I lost my key? I lost my key to my car. Okay, it's in my pocket. Back to it. Back to where we go. So, I still need to find a way to go up there. I'm trying to find a, I don't, I didn't carry cash. I feel bad, usually I carry cash, but I spent all my uh, cash yesterday at Guavate, which is another video you can see later, so I feel bad. Okay, there's a stair here, but let's get the back roads first. I guess we can do like street by street and slowly go in all of them. Oh, that is such a nice place. Look at that. So continue. I think I'm on the right path to the basketball court and then I can cut in. This is so dangerous, according to everybody else on Facebook, because if one person sees you, you're gonna get your head knocked off, but uh, I think I'm very diplomatic and very uh, respectful and uh, not a daredevil, because I'm afraid of some stuff, but uh, respect, respect. Okay, I don't want to fight with you, dude. Chicken don't play that shit. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want to play with your kids. Staircase to heaven, I believe. Okay. The best ocean view. This is a, it's called Subi Bar. So, Subi Baja, but it's a bar. So, I guess that's where you go. Okay, there's an entrance right there. Como ta? How you doing? People are so nice here. People are like super nice here. Like uh, everybody's like saying hi to me and they're just like, uh, I don't want to get hit by a car. They're just like saying hi and just greeting and everybody treats you with respect here. 
Oh, there's a nice dog. Hold on. There's uh Hold on. So. Oh yeah, I was uh, way over there at the top earlier. That's a long walk. It took me a while to find parking there. So, there's another steps to my right. I don't want to take nobody's face here. I don't know how far I'm gonna walk before I get to the top, but I'm gonna get to the top. That's my life story. I'm trying to get to the top. There's a rooster friend here. Oh, this is so cool. I would've go in there, but this is not one of those things where you go in people's stuff. That's crossing the, the respect line. Every time a car pass by, I'm like, don't shoot me. Or I'm like, don't, uh, don't, uh, what do you call it? Hit me with the car. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go up now. Oh, did I reach the feminine basketball court? I think I did. I think I did. I think uh, this is the basketball court. We're getting there. Oh, I feel like a fat guy. Okay, I'm a fat guy. Holy moly. You go, James. You do your thing. Do not enter. I'm not even gonna try. <sighs> I made it. I made it to the basketball court of La Pella. Yes. Good job, James. Okay. It's a beautiful court. How do you say this? I stopped recording because halfway through, I saw stuff that, oh, none of my business, and I shouldn't be broadcasting or telling anybody about. Um, so I get to the area, and I put my camera down, put it in my pocket, and one of the guy, I don't, one of the guy uh, who's, uh, okay, uh, gotta be very careful, who's uh, watching me, He's, uh, that guy is uh, looking at me and I've got to keep looking to make sure nobody's going to hit me in the back of the head but anyway so uh, one of the guys saw me putting the camera in my pocket and he's like thank you and I'm like yo where's my car oh, okay my car's right there so I'm like thank you and he goes todo bien and I'm like todo bien and he asked me a couple of questions of uh, what I was doing uh, as far as I don't want to talk about it but he asked me a question and I answered them and they shook my hand and they say okay you can go and i said okay then a young guy came out and he's like what are you doing here and i said exploring <laughs> and i gotta stop being funny sometimes because i just it's in my nature to be funny so i say exploring and he looks at me like do you want to fuck with me and i'm like i'm exploring so the other guy started laughing and he laughed and he's like, don't explore here, okay? I'm like, nothing. So I'm walking off and another guy came downstairs from his, uh, his little place, you know, because they're in uh, layers. And he's like, your phone, give me your fucking phone. I'm like, the fuck? I'm not going to give you my phone, but I'm not recording you. And he's like, let me look. I'm like, here's my phone. I'm not recording you. And there was a message on my phone anyway. So he's like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. And that was it. But that's, that's, that goes to show what I'm saying, it's hot here. That, that goes to show you what I'm saying, like, don't 
go in there and put in camera in people's face. This is their livelihood. This is where they live. They do their business. Whatever their business is, it's none of yours. Uh, whatever they, they do here, it's none of your business, you know. Uh, I see a lot of people on Facebook uh, we constantly saying, oh, it's because they sell drugs. It's none of your fucking business. That's why they don't want people there because it's none of your business. And if you see something there, keep it to your fucking self. You know, it comes, uh, I, I'm actually, I get aggravated when I see people you know constantly bring that up because like where in this in the world they don't um sell drugs so you know uh just keep to yourself do what you're there for show respect uh i will even suggest you go in there before you go in there talk to some people like hey uh can you give me a tour i'm pretty sure they're gonna tell you to fuck off because nobody wants to do that but i do have a guy that i'm meeting here at four o'clock he's like hey if you want to get like a cool look at the plot I'll go with you, we can do a collab because he's a YouTuber and I'm like, sure. He goes, yeah, we can collab. And I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. At four o'clock, he's like, I'm going to work, but at four o'clock, we can collab. And I'm like, okay, we can do that. And he said, sure, man. And, I'm, and I said, we talk and we all went our separate way and that was it. Oh, I did actually ask him, I'm like, hey, um, what do I need to know, do's and don'ts? Although I knew most of it, I'm like, what do I need to know, do's and don'ts? And he's like, just show respect, man. This is our livelihood here. So that was a little tour of La Perla and... Um, Stay vigilant and be nice, be respectful. The key word here is respectful. Show people respect when you go to these places. There's a guy in a motorcycle there. He's been circling me the whole entire time. And I understand, like, this is their place. So, um, I pose no threat. Even though I pose exactly no threat, you still have to, you know, keep your surrounding. Like, you know, me being that I'm traveling, I don't want anybody to hit me in the head. Like, it, it happens. Like, somebody might. Because, me talking to the couple of guys and being cool is not cool with the next guy two houses down he might not you know as, as we say and shit sweet so it, it might not be sweet for him as it is for the other guy so um just making sure uh i walk through and do my thing so now we're gonna go get some uh, actually get a load of this that is uh absolutely beautiful That is just downright awesome. I like that. All right, so this ends my small tour of La Perla. Don't come here and start some shit. That's my uh, ending for you.